Hey guys, Jeff here with the Counselors Camper. Let's talk about something that I really wanted on the on the on the camper for the urban camping trips, and that was an outdoor kitchen. I prefer to cook outdoors. I like the open fire, and if I'm going to do this type of camping, I want to be as much outdoors as I can, uh, because for me this is this is kind of really glamorous camping. And one of the things that I really wanted was an outdoor kitchen. Now. This model for the, the money that we wanted to spend actually came with the outdoor kitchen. A lot of the campers uh, that are made do not have an outdoor kitchen, but I'm going to explain to you why it's important to me to have an outdoor kitchen. Inside of the camper we do have a full kitchen. There's a microwave which is great for microwaving popcorn if we want to watch a movie, if it's raining outside. It has an oven and also has a gas cooktop with a full uh, refrigerator. So. If it is raining or it's really bad weather, we have stuff to do inside of the camper without killing each other and getting cabin fever. But 99% of all the cooking happens out here on the campfire. A cast iron skillet, that's the first thing that you're going to want to purchase. And, and I use that thing all the time when we uh, cook. And you can make casseroles in it, eggs, bacon, and a lot of people. Uh, worry about cast iron because like well how do you clean it well you don't use soap and water and honestly all I do if I'm in a campground that has gravel or sand as a base that's what I clean it with and I just rinse it out uh, I do not scrub that thing it's gonna get hot enough when you cook with it that whatever saturated into that is just gonna make everything taste better I know it's kinda weird and gross for some people but trust me you, the first time you get your cast iron skillet, it's going to take about six uh, trips with that cast iron skillet, cooking bacon and potatoes and eggs in it. And that cast iron skillet's going to absorb those greases. And I'm telling you, there's nothing better than scrambled eggs out of that skillet the weekend after we just had uh, bacon or ham or something in there. So, as far as the outdoor kitchen, uh, this one here has uh, what I call a faux sink, meaning that it doesn't actually have a drain, but it does have water. It has hot and cold water. This comes in handy for a lot of things, for just washing your hands, uh, rinsing off vegetables. It also has a cooktop, which is a two burner cooktop that is uh, propane fed. And it also has a nice shelf area here where I was able to organize a lot of the cooking tools and things that I use uh, in the outdoor kitchen, you know, spices, salt and pepper, sugar, things like that. Uh, I also installed a fluorescent light in the area. There was actually a plug underneath here. So I installed that and it gives me light, pl plenty of light at, at night. It also has a small mini fridge and I absolutely love this refrigerator. I actually wish this refrigerator was on the inside of the camper and the big one was out here because I would actually completely fill it up. But that's where I put like hot dogs, hamburgers, things that we're going to be cooking outside. Lunch meat when the kids want just a quick lunch that's what we we put in that in that fridge. So things I added to this that didn't come with it, obviously I added the light I went out and bought some Tupperware containers for you know cutting, uh, cutting plates and cutting boards and aluminum foil and you know spray oils, spices, you know spatulas, uh, egg beaters, that, that kind of stuff. I also added a paper towel roll holder underneath the sink here, which works out really great. And then I also put a bottle opener attached that to the, the bottom of this. This also has slide out shelves to it, so you have additional areas to prep food. And then another thing that's uh, very important, most camp, most state campgrounds, that's where I tend to camp the most, is I just, they're cleaner. Uh, if you do want to use the bathroom facilities, they're kept, they're maintained really well. I haven't found a lot of private uh, campgrounds that are that are really nice. Now this one that we're at right now is really nice and it's Cardinal Shooting Center and Campgrounds and it's just uh, in, in Delaware outside of north of Columbus. Uh, this place is really well maintained. I really like coming here. But the other thing that you, you're going to get to go along with this camping kitchen 
is you're going to want a good table to set all of like your buns and bread and uh, ketchup mustard uh, we also keep a full thing of uh, clean water out here and we use that a lot for making coffee uh, or, or if the kids just want to drink a water that we have that out here so for me this is this is where I cook this is the main cooking center and uh, even though it's not as nice as the one inside of the camper this is the one I use the most so if you're looking into campers and you're someone like myself that I, I'm okay with just a tarp, a wool blanket, a knife, and a ferro rug. Just let me loose in the woods. Uh, you're going to want something like this so that you can actually cook and stay outside of the camper. <laughs> uh, don't get me wrong, there's nothing wrong with watching a movie at 12 o'clock at night on the big screen TV that's in there. But I'd rather be outside by the campfire enjoying my family and cooking for them. So. This is Jeff with the Common Sense Camper, camping out.